Hello everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I have a jewelry haul for you all this week. So at the whole house where I spent the $78, this was included. Um, I got all the Christmas pins and all of this jewelry for $20. So <clears throat> I realized that this is part of it. So I just want to go ahead and show you what I found. So I got silver and gold. Uh, I did find one, oops, I got this silver chain because I'm always looking for chains so I don't have to constantly change out a pendant. But uh, let's go across the back. I've got these two silver chains here, they're sterling. Got two up here, One. these are a little bit thicker. And then I've got one over here that has the little balls, okay? Uh, down here, I have miscellaneous sterling silver rings, kind of like probably from the 70s and 80s. This one might be a little bit uh, newer, but these just remind me of some of the ones from that time period. I'm not quite sure if this one is silver or not, but I went ahead and got, got it. It's got the chip turquoise and coral in it. No marks really much that I can find. Uh, this one is an Avon ring and it actually says sterling. You know, I'd always heard that they had some sterling rings. Well, this one is all bent up but why not get it? And then these are sterling silver rings and they all have little gemstones. So like an aquamarine or topaz. This one's got a little bit of a amethyst. This one has peridot. I guess that you stack them. And then there's this one. Which I kind of liked. It was cute. Uh, and I'm gonna come back to that. I did get this. This is a beautiful glass swirl artisan bowl. And it's very hard to see the mark on it. You can see the pontal mark there. 1982 and it says, oh, well, O plus F, I don't know, but such a pretty piece of glass. Now, up there is already full. Where am I going to put this? <laughs> so I just don't know. I also found this. It was just <clears throat> just there. So a little sterling silver already still in its little packet. Got this. I just picked it up because I thought it was pretty and I turned it over. And it actually happens to be sterling. And it says it here on the back somewhere. Uh, oh, right there. Well, boy, it's hard to see. Yeah, right there. Anyways, there was that pretty pin. Then I have um, a, a 14 karat gold bracelet. That one is really nice. I've got this, I just threw it in, had no idea what it was. Look, it has the little pictures of the babies in it. And that one is 14 karat gold as well. This one is sterling silver. Cross. This is abalone, but it's already broken up there, but it's sterling silver on the back. Uh, and then we get into more of the gold. So there's this ring. I just, I thought this was so pretty. And I, I thought, oh, it's probably rock crystal or something like that. Uh, I've tried testing it with my diamond tester. And if I put up to, uh, those of you who have a diamond select um, tester, if I put it up to four bars and then I test it, then I get diamond on this clear stone. If I put it on two, it will go all the way up to through all the amber and um, then not not ring. But those are um, sapphires and it is 14 karat. So I, I love that. I will wear that for sure. This I love as well. This is a 18 karat gold and coral ring. So I've got a couple of coral ones now that are so pretty. Yay! And then this, I cannot find a mark anywhere on it. I mean, I mean, it's got some stuff in there. I'm gonna have to clean it because it's got the the dust of the ages in there. But I'm thinking it's probably gold. 
And then this one is a little uh, 10 karat gold and opal ring. Very pretty. And what else? Okay, so I've got these 14 karat gold necklaces. One, they were all tangled up. So there's this one that has the pearls and the beads. There's this one that has the little links. That was interesting getting that out. You have to use a safety pin or a straight pin to get that out. And then there's this one. It is so heavy. I don't know if you can tell, but um, it's very heavy and it actually fits around my neck. I'm so thrilled. I can use some of these pendants and things on it and actually get to wear one of my necklaces. Because some of the long ones are just so long and I don't have the neckline on my shirts. I get too hot to wear something other than a, um, uh, you know, a, a V-neck or something. Uh, something high neck like a, it gets too hot down here anyway. So that is what all I found. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything and I'll be wearing that very soon. Take care and I hope I'll have something more to show you after this week's um, finds as well. Take care. Bye-bye.